So guys, we got us a free diesel engine. I don't know what we're gonna use it on. We might just make this thing blow up. But we're gonna try to get it started today. Welcome back for another Will It Start. It's been a freaking while since we've done a Will It Start. Yeah, I pray to God this thing doesn't just start right up. But anyhow, it's a, oh. it says it's a Detroit. Easy. So I think it's a Deutz engine that's been rebranded by Detroit. That pallet ain't looking too healthy. I know, right? What's your plan? I don't know yet. <laughs> oh! That was close. <laughs> that pallet's done. Alright, let's see what we can figure out this thing. Better watch your toes. I know. <laughs> it says Detroit Corporation. But it's an air-cooled engine, but I think it's a Deutz made for Detroit. So, but from the looks of it, it looks like it's pretty standalone. There's a battery cable there. I think we'll be able to just make this thing run on the ground. That's crazy. We need to get it off this pallet though. So let's uh, let's find a chain and we'll use the forklift again, pick it up by these right here. Get off this old crappy pallet. Let's assess the situation what we got going on here. So we got a, that right there is probably for glow plugs. We got some kind of a control wire here maybe. I don't know. Maybe that. Anyhow, it's a mechanical engine. We don't need none of this electronic crap to make this boy run. So uh, we just need to hook the battery cables up to, that right there looks like some kind of a solenoid of some kind. This right here looks like a throttle. It looks froze up. It's not good. Oh, it's moving. Okay. We got some throttle movement. It's a little two cylinder diesel with some kind of a hydraulic pump here of some kind. Should we unbolt the hydraulic pump maybe? Just to get it out of the way? Maybe. Yeah, we'll do undo that because that pump might can be used for something else. So we'll get that unbolted. Put these battery cables up. We're gonna make this, we, we don't need no battery cables. We got the jump boxes. We'll hook it up to a battery though. That, it should help it a little bit. So let's go find a battery, some jump boxes, and uh, my uh, starter button. We gotta dig that out of the archives. I think this thing might be locked up, but we gotta get this cover off here. I don't know what better way than to use a freaking hammer. No way. Oh. There we go. Big old pulley. Oh, okay. It's a good sign. Me. We're not locked up. All right. We need to find some fuel because right over here we've got a fuel pump. Right there, see that fuel line? And a fuel pump there. So if we get some fuel, we can try to prime it up somewhat or something. Right there's the injection pump. So you get a uh, some kind of a small bucket with a hose going into it. We'll get this boy primed up maybe. Need a little wrench there. And uh, so you fuel and a battery. Be right back. Battery check. Bam. You keep calling me Randy for some reason. That's your name, Randy. Randall, there's cows in the yard. Well, that's a cow farm. You don't have cows outside. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You never seen what's that? That was barnyard. You never seen that? It's a cartoon, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, that's Otis. The cow that yeah, that was his name. Oh, Randall. Cow farm. Gonna be cow shot. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a little bit more. This thing off here. Come on. There we go. Got some fuel line here. That boy right there. Just push her on nice and tight like. Put this in there. Need to siphon it. 
Now we're gonna crack this bleeder right here if I can. Open on the pump. Get some fuel going through there. Shoot. Oh. Oh. Okay. We got a gusher, folks. How's it smell? I don't know why it's got so much pressure in here. Well, I guess we'll see if it'll start on that. We may need some ether, though. I think I just want ether. Yeah, maybe you don't need it. All right, we already checked the oil, so we're good on oil. This thing starts up easy. We're just going to start feeding this stuff, see what we can make it. I feel <laughs> like we need to be somewhere if we're going to start doing crazy stuff. This is the throttle. Let's give it all the beans. Give it the beans. Alright, we don't got nothing to come out of the injectors. Let's crack those loose. What you got there? I got four cans of start fluid that's almost empty. <laughs> Wonder who would use those in the shop. Probably Ryan sniffing it back here or something. <laughs> oh, no. Can't get no more free, Randy. Hang it, throw it out. All right, there's one. Oh, we're gonna have fuel leaking out of that return line. We're gonna have to put a return line on it too. On these here injectors. Oil bath air cleaner looks like. Yep. Oh, old school, son. Dang. Ready? Thirteen. Thirteen. There we go. One oil bath air cleaner removed. Now I can see right in the throat hole. This thing better fire. <laughs> right in the throat hole. Get in there. That's weird. They didn't want to fire on ether either. Almost oh, sounds like a uh, steamroller over there. Compression. I'm stumped. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, they're loose, so the valves aren't like too tight or nothing. Hmm. Is it missing anything? I can't get this thing to hit on ether. Mm, low compression then. Or we need to stuff. spray something. I already just checked them. We need to put something in there that's like um, lubricating. Cylinders are probably dry. Yeah. yeah. Do you have the rings and stuff? What are you eating? Some checkers fries. So I got some fresh can of star blood. Also got some PB blaster. To hog this boy down there. What did you say? Let's hook this thing up and make it spin over faster. It's just safe right there. We ain't got no fuel coming out of the injectors yet though, so that's a problem. Let's make sure we play <laughs> out still. Dude, that thing about hopped off. We got fuel at the pump. Can we turn that, th that thing off for me? Nick. Get him. Get Nick, him. Nick, stop. Get him. Nick. Slider. Come on, Look at this thing. Nick, Come I don't get, get him. Nick. This one's hitting on the injector right here. We got some fuel flowing. Oh, yeah. Some kind of light. If you have one hitter, that's going to be bouncing all over the floor like a freaking concrete. <laughs> yeah. You better be wicked. What the hell? You might want to move anything that's important. I better idle it down because I'm going to sit at full throttle right now. So. We'll find out. I think pulling it out is full throttle.
water is not too hot yet. Grab some oil dry. Out of the diesel pan. Uh, did it? No. Oh, <laughs> son! Oh, I got you. I think it might be idle there. Let's go to. Doesn't seem like it's one. Right? Oh. You'd think pulling out would be full throttle. It started to run on fuel for a minute there. I'm about to put you down. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're gonna blow this thing up, we ain't careful. We're gonna get some diesel blown. There's no one coming out of that side, so let's tinker with the pump for a minute. <sighs> That's got to be thr full throttle that way. Yeah. That's shut off. Hey, that tank chain needs to be tightened. Feels like the fuel shut off thing is like in the opposition stuck inside the pump. Yeah. All right, so we've got to pull the pump off this thing to get there to it, but pretty much going to pull the intake and exhaust and pull it off of it. Hopefully, we turn this thing into a box of parts before the day's over. Come off without pulling the exhaust off on. Of course, it's like a 12. That works. <laughs> Broke. One of the comments I already know it. Like, oh, I could have used that to power my Miata. <laughs> Smells like that ain't good. That ain't good at, at all. All right. Um, so we got to get to this pump. We either pull the pump out the top, or we pull this cover off. Maybe we'll just pull this cover off the side right quick and figure out why the pump ain't running like it should. Oops. All right. So we're pulling the side of this pump apart because there's what's called a fuel route. We're gonna break loose. It's probably in its off position, stuck in the off position. So 
we gotta fix that. And do that, we gotta unbolt all this stuff. You gonna put everything back together? Probably not. Why not? Because that'd be too easy. We gotta get to that bolt. Right there. Oh, I'm gonna take that nut out. Everything's breaking on this thing. Jeez. Trying to do this quick. Oh. Boom. Yeah, that, that rack's definitely stuck. See some vice grips. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey. Always. Hey. Cut it. There ain't no cutting it. Cut it. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I did all that work and it still ain't out of the way. Jeez. Hmm. Ready to get a wrench on it. Got some bracketry involved there. Okay. Keep in mind, folks, we just want this thing to run wide open. Wide open. Into the catch up. So, what happens if it decides to hop off? What are you going to push it to? Well, it'll probably shut off because it'll run out of fuel. Yeah, this stuff definitely ain't going back together like it's supposed to. <laughs> I don't see any other hardware holding it, do you? No. Maybe this right here. Oh, and this bolt right there. Dang it. The boy is on there. something <laughs> what does it do oh. that comes off now okay so all this stuff in here is the governor which we don't care about right oh, well, there are some springs in there <laughs> cut them That's the problem. The rack is stuck and it won't even move right now. We'll make it move to get the pump out. We'll free it up. Put this boy back together and it's just gonna sing to the moon. It's gonna hop around. So let's take it over to the bench. So this thing has to move back and forth nice and free and it's not because the plungers inside here are stuck. So what we gotta do now Let's fill this boy up with some uh, PB blaster and work them loose. So like I said, guys, this rack is stuck. So what we gotta do is just keep tapping it back and forth until it starts moving more free. It will eventually. You know what, none of this really matters because we just messed up the governor. So let's just stick it back in there at full throttle, which is that way, and let it sing. Okay. Screw it. Screw it. Right there. Oh, like 
that. It's gonna go down there in the stop position. Put that right up here. Right there, I think it's full throttle. I remember it. Hold on. Now it was know. full throttle. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. What are you talking about? No, I was watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you were. You don't know. That's the funny part. You were saying pulling out was full throttle and was not. I'm watching you. Pull that hydraulic pump off there just in case. It's a good hydraulic pump. It's like a two stage pump, so. Got a high volume pump and low volume pump there. Dang. Boy, it's long. Put that on there. Be cool if we ever built something that's like hydraulic powered or something. That little pull-in sled had a hydraulic pump on those leaking, so maybe they can use that. Oh, should we try it right here? Yeah. I, mean, we can't I know it's going to start now. We should just wait till he's done with the pull. Okay. All right, folks, we've got our governor exposed here. We're going to get this fuel system primed up here again. We've got fuel up there. Uh, we're gonna spin it over if it's at full throttle I'll try to idle it back down and shut it off maybe let me go get a pry bar so that we can then put the governor back over it for the cover <laughs> hey we got, we got a injector we got stuff from out of the injector holes here it's gonna run maybe we idle the governor down first let it idle then we'll slowly increase it leaking oil out of it. Oh, we put, I guess we put the dipstick back in it. I'm kind of nervous. Why are you nervous? <laughs> I'm in the danger zone. And out, and out. No, nope, can't right. do that. Oh, it's idling itself back down because the governor is actually working. Yeah, I got a governor stop stick right there. <laughs> governor stop stick. Oh, uh, now I got fuel here. Hit it with some ether for me, Nick. Jam it. This ran well. No, well, I, I want to keep from making a huge mess on the oil, oh. so we need to uh, put that governor cover back on. We just have to figure out how to. Uh, I got an idea. On the chop saw in there. You know that works. <laughs> yeah. All right. Put that boy right there. You think? Yeah, that's a good spot. Something going to fly at me. 
teeth are gone <laughs> well we've been needing a new blade anyway so hey you know why don't you just take that one off it just is what it is i reckon i don't think you need gloves it doesn't it. like that washer whatever that washer right there's made out of it does not like it. it's got that diamond diamond washer right there it's some pretty serious stuff Well, should we try it again? I don't know, dude. Got another blade here? No. Yeah, but I don't want to change it. Oh, All right, so we got to cover, put back on the governor, try to keep as much oil as possible from uh, flowing out of here. We're going to go ahead and cut this belt. We don't want, this is an air-cooled engine. If you look inside here, you'll see fans, like an airplane, or uh, cylinder heads in there like airplanes. See them right there? Sure. So this fan spins in here at Mock Jesus, cooling there. <laughs> so we don't want it to come apart or blow apart, so fan spinning at all the RPMs with no governor. I feel like we need a shield or something. I feel like we just shove this thing at wide open throttle and just back up. That's what I think. All right, now you find something to stick in there so that it runs at wide open throttle. Um, a little metal piece that's on the ground over there. I say you hold it. Heck no. That works shoving The problem there. is we gotta make it stay in there, you know? Like... Weld it. Tap that boy in there. Now yeah, we want it wide open throttle. That ain't just run that bolt down more. I have an idea. Just take the, the uh, fudge and governor off of it completely. Just like that. Move the your old ejection pump to right there. Never mind, we're good. You sure? Now we just got to wait to shut it off till it just lets go. I don't know where to stand. Point and center that. <laughs> we'll need some shields. I won't have to pay a jail now. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. It's going to go boom. Nick! I don't think it is. Yeah. I got it. Come here. Let's, let's get a truck. Let's no, get a truck. It, it's, on. it's a two cylinder. They're just like the most unbalanced engines in the world. You don't world. think it'll seize first before windows are blocked? Why would it seize if it's got oil in it? It don't make enough power to blow out the sun. I think the Ranger just got well to the cylinder walls. Oh. We need to find stuff we can just start feeding in this thing. Yeah, hold on. That's what it is. Drain the oil out. It might not start. Drain the oil out. Some, <laughs> some root beer. Good. Why are you guys Ryan? going back there? Ready, Ryan? No. All right, right so you got full throttle, <laughs> like full throttle, no governor involved. Oh, I'm scared. The only thing that worries me is this flywheel. Whatever, let's back up. 
Where am I supposed to go? No, to let it be. I gotta stand right here. Watch out.
look, it's still spinning. Oh, right. Oh my god. It came out the hole. Well, look at the wrist pin over here. <laughs> look. Oh my gosh. That was so worth it. Oh, See the piston right up in there still? Frank Jesus. Dude, that was insane. I can barely hear anything though. I know, we're all dead. <laughs> uh -huh. We need to go we gotta find the, out where we need to go up on the roof. It's on the roof. Dude, that has got to be so hot. What do you think about that, Nick? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I don't think we can use that as a project engine anymore. No. Yeah, it's too little fried. That was pretty wild. I was a little skittered for a minute. That was fun. We haven't done a video like this and since the skitter video. That was way more cooler. Oh, yeah. Catch yeah, a little fire. <laughs> we're all so deaf. <laughs> oh, it's so loud. I'm so happy it blew up. I thought it was just going to seize up, and that was it. That was nuts. There's a piece of the block right there. There's the, there's the hole in the block right there. Yeah, there's a, oh, you know what might be up there on the roof? Yeah. It's the, the side of the jug. Or no, it's right in there. We need some pliers. Lake, I'll give you $1,000 if you hold that crank for a minute. <laughs> oh, nice. Brad just missed it. Brad just missed it. Here. Yeah. There's a piece of the jug. We should do that to him. Hold it here. Here. Whoa! Heck no. Brad, Brad's going to put these next. That'd be even worse. Yeah, that, that rod and pistons, or that wrist pin. I think we can get that wrist pin out. Maybe not. Yeah, it's just still burning, boy. It's hot. You gotta get us a little campfire. Yeah, if we wouldn't have unconnected that fan, this thing wouldn't have. It probably would have. Red or that's the paint. Oh, it's on fire over here. Look. Oh yeah. Dang it! No one go out. That was definitely worth taking it all apart and doing all that. Brad, you're like five minutes too late. Oh yeah, the rod's bent sideways. But see, the other one had to break too because this thing was just it was just free spinning. Free spinning. Oh, that one's still connected, so it was free spinning with that rod connected. Holy crap! Or no? Tell me if that's turning. No. No. The crank no. is. No. So the crank what, is, what but was, not the not the fiber. Oh, you know why it's still spinning? Because it's got a one-way bearing in there. Oh. So it locked up, and that was just spinning. Because yeah, it's just a one-way bearing. Yeah, because wasn't this old throat pump? Uh, some kind of a hydraulic pump. You missed out. What, do you guys just blow this thing up? We're going to do the side by side. They ran for 10 minutes. With no oil? No, with the with oil in it. Just screaming. We're all deaf right now. <laughs> yeah. Think yeah, she'll spin over? 10 minutes straight wide open. No way. I think, it's just start. I, I, think I think the crank broke. I think the crank broke. There's no way it didn't break. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, something broke. That was nuts. Where's the ether at? Let's see if she'll still fire. <laughs> hey, hold on. Crank is definitely broke. Yeah, the front This ain't spinning at all. That's what I mean, yeah. Crank definitely So it had to break back here. Do you say when I was turning that, turn it again? It's just spinning the crank on the... That, that, that doesn't make sense. No, that's not. Yeah, look at that. Look, here. It's spinning? Go, for, go on the other side, Bruce. Oh, okay, so it must have, like, sheared something in there. Okay. We need it might have busted the flywheel bolt or something. We need to grab that thing before it burns a hole through the roof. That's what I'm worried about. The other one. Yeah, let's just... We'll drain the oil out of it right quick. Go ahead and put it on the scrap for Yeah. Is it landing right here now? Nice. Put it in the oil. Brad. No, don't. I'll, we'll use the wall to get it. Uh, that wheel is going to be spoiled. That thing oh, is no. spicy. Yeah, hang on, hang on. It's just, it's just part of the judge. We should tear it down now to slow the damage. Let me let it down so We don't need to. There's a window conveniently placed on the side of the engine to see the damage. That's awesome. Same thing with the TRX motor. Why do you 
do that. <laughs> that oil, I mean, granted, <laughs> some thin oil. I was gonna say, yeah, it don't look like it's got a whole lot of viscosity left. You know what viscosity means, Ryan? I wish we had something else to blow up. What? There's a white F-150. Come on, yeah. Brad. <laughs> We just gotta start finding some old engines and blow more of them up. What about the one that's in the uh, mega truck? I see one of those boat motors over there. <laughs> those are new. Those are new used for Dad's boat. <laughs> Great idea, Brad. What about the one in the mega truck? <laughs> Yamaha motorcycle right there. We could try. It's missing right now. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect excuse to kill it. It was. This boy's heavy. Keep going. That's a wrap for today's video. We had some fun blowing up that little engine. Comment down below. Should we blow up more little engines? <laughs> or big engines? Or even bigger engines? The carnage was real. Stuff went on the roof. We got it down. Piece of the cylinder. All kinds of cool stuff. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe. We'll be dropping another video here in the next couple of days. Update that woman that uh, we chased down blue collar. Her mug shot. All kinds of cool stuff. But uh, go to brucewilsonshop.com. Grab your merch and get entered to win. Blue collar mini RC truck. Don't forget, she's got real axles, all kinds of stuff, leaf springs, 10 wheels. She's a freaking unit. Catch you guys later. Peace.